नमस्कार 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 मेरा नाम है राजीव कुमार बजाज यानी आर के बी और मैं हूँ इस वक्त एडवोकेट प्रदीप नाम्बियार जी के साथ प्रदीप जी नमस्कार नमस्कार सर नमस्कार आप सभी लोगों को प्रदीप जी और मेरी तरफ से जय हिंद जय महाराष्ट्र जय भवानी जय शिवाजी वंदे मातरम वंदे <coughs> जय सिया राम हर हर महादेव आप सब लोग भाई चैनल को सब्सक्राइब करें प्लीज सब्सक्राइब टू द चैनल प्लीज शेयर इट इफ यू लाइक इट एंड डू सर इन योर कॉमेंट्स अपने कॉमेंट जरूर भेजें और लेकिन सब्सक्राइब जरूर करें चैनल को इज योर चैनल डू रिमेम दैट we are the only people who are taking issues which really and truly matter and we actually get people to say what they want to say we don't interrupt them we don't scream at them we don't shout at them this is not a shouting match this is your channel aapka channel hai aap subscribe kare hame bhi taakat milti hai aapke subscription se pradeep ji so <coughs> budget today interim budget nirmala sitaraman ji was not expected to you know make any big ticket announcements in spite of that she did make a few but all the same the very fact that as far as the government is concerned the government did not did not come out with freebies and other things clearly shows that they are very confident of winning 2024 <laughs> absolutely in fact nirmala saman said uh, sitaraman ji said that uh, we are going to come back and complete this budget <laughs> yes he said this is just as you say a temporary phenomenon that we are doing it today but uh, it will be completed and it will be our government it will be the modi government yes. absolutely confident the way she said it and they have got everything for uh, uh, you know where agriculture we call uh, for the middle class for the uh, for the garib kalyan schemes everything is power packed in this particular budget i mean there is nothing that you can be left out ab dekhoge ki do ghar jo garibon ke ghar tha wo extend kar diya middle class ke liye even the middle class are getting houses now and uh, anganwadi the uh, this asha workers anganwadi workers are going to get ayushman cards now everybody is being secured also 3 crores ladies they will be lakpati lakpati didi banayenge unko fir jitne i am i am i am it is all increasing uh, middle class having uh, housing 2 crore houses for the middle class now look at the way housing jo pradhan mantri awas ek zabardast scheme hai is extended everywhere and infrastructure namo bharat metro rail expansion <laughs> across <laughs> education mein 1 lakh crore to alag alag <clears throat> cheez unhone <throat> every segment of the population <clears throat> ko unhone tie up kar diya he is tied up <clears throat> everybody he is tied up everybody and that's fabulous amazing absolutely amazing but right now <clears throat> right now we are on a more serious subject a very very serious subject indeed do remember tomorrow is world wetlands day world wetlands day और आज की तारीख में द पंजे वेटलैंड्स देर अंडर थ्रेट एंड द नेशनल ग्रीन ट्राइब्यूनल ऑर्डर हैज बीन सेट असाइड बाय द बॉम्बे हाई कोर्ट बाय अ फुल बेंच ऑफ द बॉम्बे हाई कोर्ट एंड देव सेंड इट बैक टू द एनवायरमेंट मिनिस्ट्री एंड देव आज द प्रिंसिपल सेक्रेटरी टू हियर ऑल थ्री पार्टीज एंड कम बैक विद अ रीजन ऑर्डर विद इन द नेक्स्ट ट्वेल्व वीक्स अब इसका क्या मतलब हुआ लेट्स आज द टू जेंटमैन हुर एक्चुअली इन्वॉल्व इन इट स्पेशली नंद कुमार पवार साहब एंड ऑफकोर्स बी एन कुमार साहब बोथ ऑफ दैम both of them involved in this particular litigation uh, and, and and complaints about sitco sitco filling up all the all, all all the wetlands to start an it park over there now let's go across to both gentlemen i believe both the gentlemen are with us nand kumar pawar sahab joins us from alibag bn kumar sahab joins us uh, from wherever he is right now he is a globe trotter so we don't really know <laughs> where he is he might be in london bristol New York, God knows. नंद कुमार पवार साहब आप इस वक्त हैं अलीबाग में सर आप बताएं इस ऑर्डर का क्या मतलब हुआ ये हाई कोर्ट का जो ऑर्डर आया है क्या मतलब हुआ इसका एक्चुअली कोर्ट ऑनरेबल बॉम्बे हाई कोर्ट है नॉट पास वेरी क्लियर ऑर्डर ओके दर्ट देर इज नो एक्सपर्टीज एज फार एज एरिया टू बी डिक्लेयर एज अंक्री so some kind of uh, uh, confusion on the part of uh, even bombay high court i would say so that's why they have referred this matter to the uh, environment department the principal secretary has to take call on this sensitive issue and uh, as you have said the two orders from the honorable ngt has been set aside by bombay high court ji but that was the uh, previous decision and the original order that is from environment department on uh, 11 november 
20 yes is still still in place the mm -hmm. order the two ngt order has passed on this <coughs> original order from the environment department so it doesn't make any difference okay <laughs> still court maintain that this is cr that area has to be maintained and the status has to be maintained by opening up all inlets uh, allowing tidal all, water all the all the inter tidal channels have to remain open they cannot be blocked that's what it means isn't it exactly no, 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 so there is hope still. B. N. Kumar Sahib, what does it mean? See, actually, uh, for a long time, uh, Mr. Power and we have been complaining against this, uh, you know, closure of the channels to, you know, the uh, what you call uh, the visual that you are showing. This is a different story. I'll come back to this audience later. So this is about the Panje wetland. We have been complaining, you as you all the know. Panje wetlands, please. Not yeah. this particular visual. The the other visual of the Panje wetlands. Can we have that, please? Yes, G. B. N. B. N. K. Sahib, tell me. Yeah, this is about the Panjai wetlands. We have been complaining that, in fact, Mr. Power has taken me there to the site. We have taken a lot of media persons also. And in fact, when uh, so we took some media persons, the local gang people got together and they threw us out. They, th they threw Mr. Power and the media people out. And then uh, they had a fight with them when they were, when, when they were on an official visit along with Devi Goenka and others, along with Taisildar. The local people got together. They almost beat up Nand Kumar. Nand Kumar Power was very lucky to escape. That kind of an attack. I mean, despite our concerted effort, efforts and the local basic interests, uh, you know, trying to sabotage our efforts, you know, we have been we have been continuing our effort and hats off to uh, power. Uh, what Nandu happened? Was, uh, uh, please. What, what happened to you? Were you attacked? Kab aapke upar hamla hua? Kaise aap bahar aaye? Unka ira irada kya tha? Zara batayi. Nandu Kumar Power sir, please. Uh, that was as uh, um, my friend B. N. Kumar have said. What was the incident was very deadly incident in my entire career from 2007. Uh, I was attacked by the uh, some of the local Western interests, motivated by the Reliance, I would say. Uh, on uh, 29 December 2022, I was on a side visit with the uh, Conservation Action Trust, Mr. Debbie Goenka. The CIDCO official, the Tassidar himself, the official from the CIDCO, yes, and uh, uh, other revenue department officials. When I was entered the wetland, I was attacked by one gang. Okay, they they surrounded me and abusing me that uh, you are the one who damaged our wetland and you are stopping our development. We want wetland to be landfill for the development. We want uh, uh, economic development, concrete development, and not wetland. This is what they are saying. So I said, you don't argue here. You come to our office. We'll sit together. We'll listen to you, what your grievances, what your issues. Then we'll accordingly plan a meeting with the tehsildar or collector and try to resolve your issues. I'm not your enemy. Then uh, after some time, they left alone. And after half an hour, the another gang, they have attacked me. They keep on uh, asking continuously. Uh, who is Mr. Nanda Kumar Power? Who, where is Mr. Nanda Kumar Power? And fortunately, I was not there at the spot. I gone for the loo for the two minutes, and that was the golden time of my life. And they were just uh, searching for me. And uh, meantime, they found uh, Tehsildar, and they attacked Tehsildar. They abused Tehsildar. <laughs> and one mm -hmm. guy who was taking uh, some photos, they caught them and beaten them. Okay. But that guy later on found to be a guy from the Reliance themselves. So that was the incident, deadly incident. Then later on, two accused were arrested by the, the police and they were sent to the jail for 15 days at uh, Taloja jail. And after that hearing was conducted at uh, Panvel Civil Court, and uh, I was called for the hearing and uh, court asked me whether you can identify the accused. I said, yes, I can I identify them with the names. And accordingly, identification was done and case was, uh, hearing was conducted. But uh, later on, they have released. I don't know what uh, update of that case later on. Jee. But so, so Mr. Power, what do you expect uh, will happen here? Putin. So, no, so, so no, this, come this back is to one, year, one year back, this is uh, mm -hmm. yes. 29 2022 That's two what you're saying. That, that, that's two years, right? Oh. Now, now, now yes. point is, okay, one year because it was in December. Mm -hmm. so, what do you expect will happen now, uh, Vien Kumar sir? And uh, Nandan Kumar Warsaw. What's going to happen now? See, what's the next step? See, what, see, what happens is, uh, as the High Court has uh, you know, placed the ball in the court of the Environment Department. Yes. Environment Department is fully aware of all the situation. 
In fact, uh, the department's uh, one of the secretaries, under secretaries, had also filed an affidavit in the Bombay High Court in another case of uh, Pawar, yes. saying that uh, this, uh, this there are two holding points. If you remember, in, uh, in uh, may two major holding points of Dronagiri, which are getting affected by this, uh, you know, activities. One is holding number point, point number one and number two. The Panjai wetland is also a holding pond as designated by Sidco itself. Holding pond is a place where it's a low lying area where water gets accumulated during the, uh, the high tide time and during the low tide time the water goes back into the sea. So that is a flood mitigation mechanism, natural flood mitigation mechanism that has to be maintained. And also it is CRZ one zone because there is the presence of the mangroves in that area. So environment the department had clearly filed an affidavit saying it is a CRZ one zone and the and there can be no and construction in the day. No right. I am getting so, an echo. I am getting an echo oh, in your in your voice, BNK. I your, your let, 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 let's solve that. But but Nandukumar Bawasab, this Dronagiri IT park that they are planning in that area, that's the one, isn't it? Mm. That that is likely to destroy the, the, the Panjay wetland. Is that is that what is that what we are saying? Or are these two different things? Nandukumar Bawasab. See, basically, if you take uh, uh, note of the Donagiri node, you think yes. of Donagiri node, which is the largest node Sirko has supposed to be developed. Yes. And a lot of economic development has been proposed in that node. It's a huge node, okay, spread on 2,740 hectares. And as per Sirko's legal paper says that the entire node, 99% of the node, falls 3 meters below the high tide line. It's an ecological sensitive area, full of creeks, mangroves, estuaries, mud flat. That area cannot be reclaimed or cannot be development should be allowed in that sensitive node. Yes. But Sirko doesn't bother, Sirko doesn't recognize whether there is any wetland exists. There are two wetlands and all. There are the cell of every piece of land, landfill, then go for concrete development. That cannot be allowed. And Panjai wetland is very significant, very special wetland in terms of being habitat for half a million migratory birds. Apart from that, it was this fishing area. There are many villages around the wetland area. Because wetland itself is very huge, spread on 289 hectares. There are certain villages around this wetland are uh, fishing and feeding their families from the sanctuaries. And they will be affected because of the reclamation on the wetland. Prodigy. And yeah, the yeah. matter of fact, how Sirko is relentless, the, the particular wetland has been designated as a holding pond, as Bian Kumar has said. This is holding pond supposed to be uh, work for the flood mitigation measure for Donagiri node. And shockingly, Sidco has already sold 144 hectares of holding pond area to NMSEZ. Is this acceptable? What is the purpose of maintaining holding pond? To control flood, it's a natural flood mitigation area. Despite the, uh, this fact, hmm. they have sold it. <coughs> they sold you know, it. Nanda Kumar Ji, now the, the, this, you are talking about the Dronagiri, uh, Dronagiri IT Park, you are talking about 2740 hectares of land, which you say are wetland. Now, how is this particular Dronacha, Dronacha, uh, Dronagiri uh, IT Park area? See, Panjai, Panjai wetland spread across two villages, uh, Dongri and uh, Panjai. So it's a uh, 289 uh, hectares of land. It's a contiguous uh, water bodies, uh, CRZ area, and uh, that area is a low low line area basically. And the development is uh, currently focused on completely low line area. The landfill has been carried out continuously by the JNPA, uh, Sibco, and other project proponents. And area the Donagiri node or Uran Taluka doesn't have any flood history until 2019. Now floods started because of the low land area has been uh, landfill. And what you see on the picture, the entire wetland has been uh, demarcated with different nodes from 16 to 28, supposed to be uh, commence some kind of uh, concrete development in the future. But that area cannot be reclaimed that we are keep on saying continuously. That's why we are uh, going in different uh, judicial level from uh, Bombay High Court to NGT to Supreme Court. Now I have filed a caveat with Supreme Court without hearing us, don't pass any adverse order. And as BN sir have said that Emman uh, Dupan already uh, recruited for this. They will call for the three parties, namely CIDCO, uh, NMZ and my... NMZ and, 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 and yourself, G. NMZ, CIDCO and myself to contest 
what are the grievances the fact on the ground but we have enough proof to show why this wetland is should be protected and nobody else in the world will allow this wetland to be destroyed so your fight is for uh, for the Dro uh, dronagiri it park which is having 2740 hectares of land and also for the dongri panji area that is around 289 hectares of land Panjip, is it true Bo both together cumulatively you are fighting the case or uh, both are isolated cases uh, different cases no no this is a panje i am this case particularly for the two holding ponds that is panje 289 hectares and karanja to uh, <coughs> ji 272 hectares so the, these two uh, holding pond i am contesting uh, with the bombay high court because the entire area is covered with the mangroves it's essentially crz 1a area cannot be reclaimed for any project Fantastic. and uh, very unfortunate that uh, <coughs> local ml has filed petition with the bombay high court again is mr mahesh paldi to allow them to desil the desil the pond and uh, subsequently mangroves in the holding pond area so ah, mr bn kumar order as i ji to bn kumar sahab ye bataye why is sidco hell bent on destroying all the wetlands all the mud flats and all the intertidal environmental zones which exist in and around this area what is the matter with sidco bn kumar sahab what See, is going on here See, we have been observing Sirco right from 1970, 75 onwards. You know, there have been a uh, earlier there have been demarcating all the area, <coughs> green zones, open areas, etc. Yes. But of late, after 50, 45 to 50 years, Sirco has grown up into a very bad boy. So what they do is that there's a human greed, and that, and the issue with Sirco is that what I understand for, from for, from my sources is, uh, Sirco very badly requires money today. Uh, during the covid time and before it also government has taken away funds from sirco so sirco has to make money by hook or crook so they have been you know openly uh, violating all the environmental uh, conditions uh, norms and while claiming that we are all we fully you know com committing committed with this what is also happening is that sirco uh, tenders floats tenders for crz areas takes money as though it is their property they cannot sell they cannot even demarcate as a areas to be sold in the development plan a property that they not own is a chori ke mal hai na ekdam this is that this is the tendency with sirco unfortunately it is a government agency despite that they have been doing look at this reclamation that has been going on with power and we went and shot unfortunately we could not stop it this is to be the wetland of jasai which is not totally uh, uh, reclaimed this is how sometimes panje looks people play cricket there we have no objection to you know the villages coming and playing their cricket there on the high Slightly on the higher side, uh, high ground area, but uh, the wetland has to be spread. But uh, uh, RKB, there is another uh, major story that I want to talk to you about. I, I am not very sure. Mr. Paul also not about it. Today uh, in morning, there is a very unfortunate incident of uh, six flamingos yes, flying away that. from. We, we, we saw that footage you sent. Yes. Yeah, DPS Lake going and hitting the <coughs> uh, signboard. Which is put up at the jetty, unused. The jetty has to be used. It has been constructed with hundreds of crores of expenditure by the um, Maritime Board, Maharashtra Maritime Board, and the jetty is lying uh, idle now. But they have a huge uh, sign board, which uh, uh, which 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 acts as an obstruction for these birds. So during the high tide area uh, from the Tane uh, Creek Flamingo Sanctuary, the flamingos come, the birds come to five uh, identified wetlands, which. Uh, Forest Department and the BNH themselves have identified as the white lands, which are the ones which I have, have been discussing, including Panje, Vinkal, Belpada, Panje, NRI, Ch Chanakya, and the uh, Bandup uh, Pumping Station. These are the places where the birds go. So during the high tide, when the water level goes up beyond 15 centimeters, the birds fly to safer areas. So they come to New Bombay and other areas. Uh, sometimes they go to Bankola. So while flying back. During the low tide, towards the Thane uh, Creek, Thane Sanctuary, these birds went and uh, crashed into this uh, signboard, and six of them have fallen. So five lesser flamingos, which are the smaller birds, they four, four in fact, they 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 hit the signboard and they fell down, and they died. Very unfortunate. And two of them, this is the uh, greater flamingo, which is a larger bird. It it it's got disoriented. It lost its direction. The morning walkers early in the morning they noticed it. They put them aside. try to save them 
and the two birds of course they pass, try to pass away them for some time the birds uh, they then later on they flew away on their own but the four birds they died very very unfortunate now no. yes, yes. Yes, 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 yes so sitco does not want wetlands yes sitco does not want mud flats sitco does not want mangroves sitco does not want flamingos either is that what you say yeah we in fact uh, last time a uh, couple of years ago if you remember the nami mumbai municipal corporation has been painting the walls and putting up the sculptures of flamingos i said what is the point in doing this when you have natural habitat of flamingos flamingos come to our city every year as power said half a million used to go to even uh, uran alone last year uh, the two year before in fact uh, more than 3 lakh flamingos landed in thane creek uh, flamingo sanctuary area the site has been declared as ramsar site so that is the time we, we requested an mmc and we mumbai municipal corporation to name our city to give it tag of flamingo city with a vagrant we are called a flamingo city but then very soon will be flamingo city only with the paintings with, with, the with, with, with paintings with with, with, with paintings just but, like just yeah. like some of the extinct birds and species that we have over here yeah. which is which is absolutely terrible yes pradeep ji and nand kumar ji i am asking both of you all yeah you got a problem you got a aeroli flamingos flamingo zone then you got here you're saying half a million half a million flamingos are visiting at all the time in this area where uh, dongri panje area that you're talking about the uh, dronagiri uh, park side you got half a million of them now everywhere there's no policy to you know see that you know you keep it as a safe heaven where the flam the migratory birds are concerned the government seems to have having no plan and now this corporates now you said reliance there was reliance who's uh, probably an active member corporate member and they also have a lot of uh, way work on the way of csr csr in fact you can use their csr for all these activities where this migratory birds in protection of these particular sites is concerned you know first of all they are destroying the econ uh, ecology out there uh, don't you think that you know we could put in a word where they can use their csr to protect this uh, flamingo uh, zones and uh, you know millions of uh, migratory birds nand kumar ji exactly see there is no care no regard for wildlife especially the uh, uh, migratory bird which coming all the way from uh, europe canada siberia and uh, wetland like panje is very crucial and very unique in uh, terms of it's a habitat for half a million migratory birds is a roosting site is a feeding site is a breeding site it's a stop over destination for many many varieties of migratory birds who travel all the way from canada siberia and europe and they wait here they refuel themselves and they make Uh, they start uh, their journey. So this is very crucial wetland to be protected. And last time you must have heard about the birds chasing chasing away from the wetland by bursting firecrackers. Okay, this was done by the Reliance officials every time. Okay, they try to burst crackers to chase away birds from the wetland area. And I have filed complaint. But later on there was no investigation. What uh, charges have been framed by whom? there is no any investigation it means there is no care and no any regard for the wildlife what do they want they want a dead city or what what what, what is it they want i ask both of you kya matlab kya kya chahiye unko matlab shamshan chahiye yahan pe kabristan chahiye kya matlab ye 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 pura shehar jo hai ye pura ilaka jo hai ye kabristan ban jaye ye chahiye kya nand kumar pawar sahab abhi abhi working towards making this entire city and this entire area into a graveyard graveyard of concrete jungles is that what we are you know planning to make nand kumar pawar sir main yahi bolta hu ki ye sirf nand kumar pawar ki ya fir bn kumar sahab ki ya fir shalin dayanand ki zimmedari hai ki wildlife ko bachana wetlands ko bachana mangroves ko bachana machhwaron ko bachana ye to sarkar ki zimmedari hai cm ko samajh nahi aata hai hamare pm sahab badi bade baat baatein karte hai public domain mein the wetlands are very crucial the mangroves are very crucial CM keep on boasting, DCM keep on boasting about the mangroves and wetlands and the local community. What they're doing on the ground? There's no impact has been noticed so far. B M Kumar sir, what is the plan? What is the objective here? एक और इसमें दो चीज़ मैं बताना चाहूँगा ये जो नवी मुंबई C Z जो है, जी, which that is that is उसमें actually मिस्टर मुकेश अंबानी का private property, इन्दर से he got a private investment, is privately owned by him and couple of others. 
Nikhil infrastructure, Nikhil Gandhi of uh, skill infrastructure and uh, Anand Jain, his uh, old classmate. And uh, Sirko, uh, Reliance has signed an MOU with this RC, NMAC is to develop the area. So, Reliance is actually executing. So, hence this security uh, that uh, power has been referring to, uh, this, this is Reliance security. Point number two, this, uh, um, uh, see this, the, the, this area, the, uh, the, the Panjai wetland, etc. is very close to the sea. If high tide, require a tsunami for it. Even the regular high tide, super moon time, there is water in These areas will be in water. These people are not realizing. We have seen it in shield water. RKB, remember what happened to the shield water colony. Yes. In fact, people have put up boats saying, along with car parking, please give us a parking place for boats also. That is the kind of scenario that we are looking at. This, this properties also will not be safe. That these guys must realize. And in 2050, there is water in the water. It means that only the mantra will be in the water. The other area will not be in the water. We are living in the water. Will they not be uh, uh, unsafe? Same way I think applies to the Balaji temple also. Isn't that terrible? Yeah, uh, Priyanka ji, wo, uh, Balaji temple wale issue is uh, you know, alive. Hai. What has happened to the Balaji temple? Hey, hey. जो जिस प्रकार से यू नो एवरीथिंग वाज तो जितने वेटलैंड्स हैव बीन लैंडफिल्ड यू नो देस नो क्राइटेरिया मैंग्रोव डोमिनेटेड एरिया टेकन ओवर फिशिंग जोन टेकन ओवर वेटलैंड एंड उसके बाद आप लोग जो लड़ रहे थे अबाउट दैट विलेज वे जेन भी है टेकन ओवर क्या कुछ राहत मिले कि नहीं be uh, you know rehabilitated uska kuch hua ki nahi these two three are very crucial issues this uh, village rehabilitation of uh, seva village is a different issue that miss power will throw light on as far as balaji temple is concerned the ngt has uh, ruled the other i mean like a couple of weeks ago that mczma has already given the permission for uh, construction in the non cs area which is almost one third of the uh, allotted area so, and they said now that they have given the permission, you file a fresh petition challenging that uh, permission, which we are doing now. <coughs> we are, in fact, file it uh, today. So, maybe in a couple of in a week or two, we will know the uh, fresh date. The issue is still alive. We are still trying to. I put it to both of you. B. N. Kumar yeah, sir and, and Nand Kumar Bawa sir. <coughs> the corporate that we just mentioned, Sidco that we just mentioned, Sidco after all was, you know, it was started by the government of Maharashtra way back in 1970. They have access to the best brains in the world. They have access to all the environment data which you have got. Perhaps they have more, considering their resources and everything else. Nand Kumar Pawar sahab, don't these people realize what they are doing? Pawar sahab? Exactly. <coughs> that is a matter of concern for uh, everyone actually, every citizen, what they are doing. Government uh, doesn't uh, take anything serious about the environment. Environment has been taken for the granted. Do anything. The mango land, wasteland, wetland are treated as a wasteland. Do anything on that. So there is no care and regard of the uh, this ecological sensitive asset to be protected for the next generation. And we are only running after the development and concrete development. We are reclaiming every piece of land, low line area. We think those areas are. Uh, useless area, but this area has ecological huge significance in terms of being the water holding area, heat soaking area, pollution soaking area, so the area is very important to be protected. But uh, planners are only after the economic development. BM Kumar sir, what do you think? Sir, I have told you a little bit of definition for your definition. There is a UN recognized Ramsar convention definition as well as which the government of India has accepted. They put it up on the Indian wetlands map. The definition is any water body which is uh, man-made or natural, static or flowing, temporary or permanent. This is the definition of the, of the wetland. And there is a High Court, Supreme Court ruling in one <coughs> case Gee. that uh, there have been four, uh, 2.25 lakh uh, wetlands you know, which have been uh, uh, listed in the, in the uh, National Wetland uh, Inventory Gee. Atlas. So, which are the, size, the major wetlands are more than size of more than <coughs> 2.5 hectares. There is a Supreme Court clear cut order, they have to be protected. And all over there, the, even the High Court also said, these, this, as this judgment has to be respected 
and any wetland more than the size of 2.25 2.5 hectares has to be maintained this jasai wetland which is uh, which run up to uh, more than uh, you know uh, i should say uh, 100 more than 100 hectares which has been buried and panje is under threat constantly under threat the so 2.2.5 mm -hmm. hectares ka koi mayna rakhta nahi out of the 2.2 uh, lakh over 2 lakh uh, wetland uh, that figure in the atlas mm -hmm. which of course common man cannot decipher uh, um, uh, <coughs> the government's responsibility to identify them notify them and declare them as wetlands has panje has panje been identified and notified as a wetland so far it is not identified and notified but it figures but if it i sent you one sketch i sent you one picture very if you if you zoom into the atlas it clearly shows the intertidal nature of the wetland which yes. ngt has in the <coughs> power scale yes. ngt has very clearly observed it so don't you think wetland. we should be doing that nand kumar pawar sir to to, to see to it that panje is declared and notified as a wetland see as of now in my own case in 2018 the mczma the authority supposed to take call on the coastal projects they have said specifically this area is cr there one a area mm -hmm. and cannot be reclaimed for any project unless per, uh, permission has been granted by the office mm -hmm. and very unfortunately as B bn sir have said that there are two over 2 lakh wetland have been identified country wide and in raigad district alone there are 1760 wetlands have been identified out of which 240 wetlands are inland wetland there are 1240 wetlands are coastal wetlands and 350 wetlands are the size of 2.25 hectares all these wetlands are supposed to be notified and protected and very unfortunately only identifying doesn't serve any purpose unless identified wetland has been notified as a wetland till then there is no protection so we want mm -hmm. to it see Gee. the satellite wetland so called satellite wetland okay there is a benkal wetland there is a belpada wetland there is a panje wetland these are the satellite wetland and uh, apcc additional principal chief uh, conservation of forest have recommend this five wetland are very crucial to be protected what happened to them silco denied silco said don't notify this wetland this is coming under our development plan so this is not done some portion some part you have to dedicate for the nature for the birds that is their right and we are not the human who can dictate our own terms and kill every wildlife available and end up killing ourselves <clears throat> most yes, importantly yes, finally it will it will kill us all that's what's going to happen gentlemen thank you very much for joining us bmk kumar saab uh nand kumar pawar saab thank you very much so nice of you to have joined us sir god bless you both we are all very very proud of the work that both of you are doing more strength to you we are always with you nation now will always be with you thank you namaskar thank and a very thank very you. happy wetlands wetlands day for all wetlands to all of you day, wetlands yes. day which is february yes. the second which is tomorrow hopefully thank you. hopefully I add yes. uh, one more thing. I had been to those wetlands, Panje, yes. Benkal, and uh, Belpada just now. Okay, I have seen the current status. I will uh, share some photographs today, which I have taken today. Please, it will be it will be a pleasure, uh, yeah. and we will show them tomorrow. Show tomorrow, what is the current status of wetland? Ah, uh, so-called satellite wetland. We shall show them tomorrow, sir. Thank you very much. Sure, sure, sir. Thank you. Sure, sir. Thank you. Namaskar. Thank you very much. Namaskar. Namaskar. Thank you. Bye. <coughs> That was nice, May, uh, Mr. Nand Kumar joining us from uh, yes, Mali Bag yes. and uh, BNK Kumar of course joining us from Navi Mumbai and from was he in Thane or was he in Navi Mumbai? I'm not sure. Wherever he was, but these two guys have really been working fighting hard, hard, working hard to save the environment, <coughs> save planet Earth, <coughs> to save all of us. I'm so sorry. Yes, I got this horrible, horrible throat, and 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 I keep clearing my throat. I I hope you guys don't mind, because the problem is <coughs> what we don't realize. is that environment is not just a case for the environment to be as we saw on the 26th of july 2005 when nature hits back there is nothing you can do unless and until you are ready for it the entire city of mumbai was completely flooded the all the suburbs were completely flooded not south mumbai and all of us had to walk back home in chest high water and the water had gone into every area into every car 
<clears throat> it did not discriminate between the rich, the middle class or the poor. The slums were flooded, the richest societies were flooded, all the roads were flooded. Do you want that kind of thing to happen again? And it is all because the entire, <clears throat> the entire mangrove belt all around Mumbai has been decimated. Otherwise, 26th of July 2005 would have just passed off as one more, you know, big monsoon event. That's it. Some areas would have been flooded, which are, already, which are always flooded, and that's just about it. But what happened? The water had nowhere to go. It could not go to the sea. And because it was high tide, the water started to come in. And when that happens, and on top of it you have about 900 millimeters of rain, boom, the whole city drowns. That's what happens. Do you want that to happen again? Do you want that to happen again? Well, Sitko is working very, very hard to see to it that it happens again and it happens every I'm trying to understand that any of this development work has to be taken place. Are there only areas available? Are there only wetlands? Because <coughs> Bali Temple on a wetland, Kayor projects on a wetland, now this Renaissance project on a wetland. But that is because Pradeep Ji, there is, there is no slum over there. There, there, are, there are no people to, uh, you know, provide relief and rehabilitation to. The flamingos are, are not going to protest. They not, the flamingos are not going to take a mocha to the BMC or to the court and say, hey, listen, <laughs> why are you destroying our home? If flamingos and other birds and, and, and other animals could speak, well, it, the things would be different. I think that's, that, 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 that's the basic thing. So these are the basic issues irrespective of whichever government comes to power. Aaj ki tarik mein Bharti Janda Party ki sarkar ho, Congress ki sarkar ho, Shiv Sena Bharti Janda Party ki sarkar ho, Bharti Janda Party, Shiv Sena, NCP ki sarkar ho. Aakhir mein aapko apne pariyavaran ka dekhbal karna padega. Agar aap apne pariyavaran ki dekhbal nahi karte hai, to aapke saath wohi hoga jo 26 July 2005 ko hua. Yaad rakhiye. कुछ भी कर लीजिए जब पानी अंदर आएगा तो कहां जाओगे सीधी साधी बात है बढ़िया से बढ़िया बिल्डिंग बना लीजिए कुछ भी कर लीजिए बड़ी से बड़ी बिल्डिंग बना लीजिए आलीशान से आलीशान इमारत बना दीजिए जब समंदर का पानी अंदर आएगा हाई टाइट जब अंदर आएगी और वो इलाके नहीं रहेंगे जो उस पानी को अब्जॉर्व कर लेते हैं कलीना तलाव Prevented floods from Kalina for such a long time and then they dried up the Talao. As soon as they dried up the, 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 the entire pond, that was it. Kalina drowned. I, I hope the situation changed now. I, I, I think they, they recreated the Talao and things. Have they done that? They have, done. they have done. Some portion, some portion of that. Well, I, 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 I hope they, they restore the Talao to its former glory. I, I hope they do along with Along with the, uh, the, you know, with the, with, with the, with, because a talao is not just a talao, it's not just the water. You also have to have an area around it where excess water can be absorbed by the earth, where you don't have to concretize it. Agar aap haan par concretize kar denge, fir dobara flood aayega. Sidi baat hai. You need to have a flood plain for every pond, for every lake, for every river, which is the reason why, jaysay mithi river hai. मिठी रिवर के आसपास बल्कि मिठी रिवर के बैंक के ऊपर प्रदीप जी हमें खड़की से दिखता है आपने मिठी रिवर जो मिठी नदी है उसके ऊपर आपने इमारतें बना रखी हैं तो जब फ्लड आता है तो पानी सीधा जाता ही जाता है आफ्टर ऑल वाई इज इट दर एवरी मानसून हिंद माता ऑलवेज फ्लड वाई इज इट दर एवरी मानसून यू नो द रन वेज टू बी टेकिंग केयर ऑफ दी मुंबई एयरपोर्ट बिकॉज द मिठी रिवर फ्लोज बिलो इट एंड द वॉटर कश इज अप what you going to do environment is a big issue which this government only is giving a lip service that's why we feel uh, the cm comes from the area thane thane navi mumbai these are as you say the flamingo areas uh, and the cm has been talking ek nashinde ji baat baat karte hai ki we need to protect the flamingo zone and i am doing now he's considered to be pro development but he says no development at the cost of protecting the environment i <coughs> want to protect the environment too uh, now it's one thing that probably doesn't know what's happening around him and somebody need to brief the cm that these are the dangers and they especially need to brief the cm and the two deputy cms <laughs> and and after all mr devendra fadnavis has always said that to him environment is the, is dearest to his heart that's what they've said now i don't know that's what he says 
I hope he means it. So, I mean, but the rivers, the four rivers of Mumbai, the wetlands, uh, 35 lakes uh, uh, in uh, Thane, in Thane, I mean, you got such a lot, lot of things to protect, and most of them have been uh, not just protect to restore. Not only toxic, it has been destroyed. I mean, the so four rivers 35 of lakes. Me say, sir, five or eight have been destroyed. The rest of the world is bad. They have all been turned into toxic holding garbage ponds. That's what has happened to the rest of the 35 lakes of <laughs> the rest of.